What's going on everybody? It's Carmine from Carmine Tech and in the last video we went over how to set up your own Jellyfin server and in this video we're going to continue on with it and we're going to add the must-have plugins you need for your Jellyfin server. So there's built-in plugins with Jellyfin, they have their own catalog and then you can find repositories and you can add more in. So I found a really good GitHub that has a lot of good plugins and extras to add on to Jellyfin. So we're going to go over today how to add in the plugins for it. So stick around because you definitely need these and let's get right into the video. So this is the GitHub page that I came across. Uh, actually, somebody sent it to me, and it has a ton of good Jellyfin extras and plugins to add in. So it has regular plugins, it has some themes you could add in, and then it has some other stuff uh, going along with it and other services to add. So this is a really good GitHub, and of course, I'm gonna share it in the comments below. I'll have it actually in the description of this video. But it has plugins to add and it gives you the repositories for them. So we're going to add these in and I'm going to show you how. So if you remember, we set up our GitHub server. Um, we set up our Jellyfin server and now we're going to add in some repositories. So this is your homepage when you log in. You're going to come over here to the hamburger menu and open it up. And we're going to come over to the administration tab and go to dashboard. And now you can see it brings you to this different menu. And this is how you actually add in the plugins. So we would scroll down to advance and here is plugins and from here it gives you the default plugins that are already in. There's the Jellyfin uh, catalog of plugins that you could add so there are good ones in here too but then there's more you could add in with repositories and that's what we're going to do right now. So it's super simple I'm going to go through and show you how to do it because this is something that you definitely need to do. So if I come back over to the GitHub, now if you remember in Plex, they have an intro skipping feature, so we could add that in Jellyfin too. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open this up in a new tab, and we need to get the raw JSON file from it. So if we come down and we scroll through, it actually gives it to me when I come down. So it gives me the URL to it, see so it has the install. So I'm going to skip through the web interface, I don't really need that, I just want the plugin. So I'm going to grab this URL. And if I go to it, you can see it gives me the raw file of it, and this is what we actually need for the repository. If you add just the link to this GitHub repository, it's not going to work right. So make sure you grab this co this copy of this link, and then we're going to come over to Jellyfin, and we're back in that plugins page. So I'm going to click Add Repository. I'm going to add Intro Skipper. Add in that URL. I'm going to click Save. And now we have the intro skipper plugin added. So now let's just keep going through and add some more. So I'm going to close this one back out. We're going to come back to the GitHub. And we're going to do, let's see, how to download. We're going to do the skin manager. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab. I'm going to scroll back down and I'm going to find the link. And here it is again. So I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to come back over and we're going to name it again. paste that in, we're going to save, and let's see maybe there's one more we can find. So of course you could pick out whichever ones, and if you find other ones that you like, there's nothing wrong with that, you could add them in. I'm just going through some of the ones that I see in this GitHub that I think are a good option. So let's do smooth mouse over for scrubbing videos. So we're going to do this one, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to come down and I'm going to try to find the link, and here it is. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to add it in, paste that. So now we see I have three new repositories for plugins. If I come over here, it's not listed in my plugins, it's not in the catalog. Oh, actually, some of them are. Look at that. So I didn't have to reboot. Last night when I was testing this, I had to actually reboot the server a couple times to get them all to add in. But we can see we have a couple of them actually added in. And let's see, we go through the metadata ones. I don't have them all in here, so I might just power cycle the server just to make sure they get in. If you power cycle the server, it doesn't hurt as long as you have nobody watching. So you actually see I have, there's the skin manager, there's the intro skipper, the scrubber. So you might actually need to power cycle your server before it adds in. I guess it depends on how quickly the server updates. But we can go through now, now we have these new plugins in our repository. We can actually go through and we can add them to our server. So we need to install them. So like the intro skipper, I can click on that. 
and it gives me a little description of what it's going to do. It's going to automatically detect and script, skip the intros and episodes. So it analyzes the audio of the TV shows to help find what area to skip for the intro. So it gives you different versions. I'm going to do the latest version. And then it will need to restart the server after installing a plugin. So I'm going to click install. Gives you a little you know warning because these are community options. I'm going to click OK. It's been accept it's, it's successfully been installed and it might need to restart to take changes. That's okay. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a couple more just to do it before I uh, power cycle my server. Now you can see in my plugins, intro skipper is in there. So if I come back, I'm going to do Jelly Scrub. I'll install that one. Of course, I got a power cycle again. And we'll add the theme manager, the skin manager. We'll install that too. So now we'll power cycle we'll power cycle the server and once we're done with that we'll be right back. So I just rebooted my server and now it's coming back online. So if I come back into plugins, now we can work on configuring these how I'd like. So let's do skin manager first. So skin manager actually gives you a preview in it of what it will look like after you change the skin. So these are the default skins for Jellyfin. And there are ways you can download more skins into this. So this GitHub I actually have has other skins in it, has some more themes in it. So you can do that. And of course, there's probably more on more GitHubs other places. So do a little bit of a Google search, you can probably find some more. But it's super simple to use. You can just come over here and you can change the, th the theme. So it gives you some different options and then it lets you preview it. So let's see. This one kind of looks like Netflix. Let's see what else we have. Just some different options. They look pretty good. Let's try, maybe we'll try this one. So it looks like one of those like Netflix. So we have the second load up, so those, those look pretty good. So if I click on Beavis and Butthead. Has a good look to it. So let's go back and now we're going to work on the next plugin that we just installed. So we have Jelly Scrub. I don't really know how much do you have to be configured with these. I think the default settings are probably good enough. I'm just going to save that. And we'll just go back to Intro Skipper. And I believe these are good too. Yeah. So we'll just do that. But this is how you could go through and you could add plugins into your Jellyfin server to add a little bit of a add-on feature to it. So adding plugins to Jellyfin is a pretty huge thing. It can really modify the whole server for you since it's open source and it's open to allow changes like that. Whereas Plex doesn't really seem to have as much of a uh, availability for that. Um, it's just more locked down because it's more of a proprietary thing. But Jellyfin is more open to it, and that's why we have these GitHub repositories that are full of all these different mods that we could add to it, and plugins that we could change to add to Jellyfin to, you know, change everything about it. If we want more features, or if we want to change how it looks or operates, and, you know, all sorts of things. But this was how you add plugins into Jellyfin with the new repositories and install them. So this is something that you definitely need if you're going to host Jellyfin going forward. And we're going to keep working on Jellyfin. We're going to have some more videos on it. So make sure you subscribe, like these videos, and check out my last one of how to install Jellyfin. I'll have that in the description in case you missed it. And I'll see you in the next video.